in agriculture i'll tell you something you can't separate politics from economics agriculture economics world over even if you go to the united states and some of those free market societies it is only politics it is not economics agriculture economics works on completely different principles as 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 opposed to industrial economics okay. that's why in the, even in the wto you have green box subsidies allowable subsidies the whole wto of agreement on agriculture is founded on government support barka oecd report says yes uh, 2020 report says that 40% is the level of income support to farmers in the us european union even china okay. and in india it is it is less than 10% so i think the indian farmers are doing a lot uh, within uh, within the constraints uh, that they are facing and okay. they are not getting they, they are not getting the kind of income support that that farmers in other economies both developed and developing economies are getting okay. i have a problem uh, which is uh, which is of a very political nature i tell you what Mm-hmm. things have come to this pass barkha because the farmers have lost trust in the government now uh, why why have they lost trust in the government precisely because we were never in the msp debate to begin with if you remember 2014 mr modi uh, promised for uh, in all his election speeches before he became prime minister that farmers will get a 50% uh, return over cost which was which was put in writing in their manifesto right now subsequently when the farmers in the first two years for 2014 15 when they kept demanding that government went to the supreme court and said maybe this 50% over uh, comprehensive cost it's it, it's problematic it may be difficult to meet then they ch- change the goal posts they change the the definition of costs right mm-hmm. now they they removed the rental value of the land from the cost uh, and then they came up with a new goal post which is doubling farm incomes in 5 f- years now even economists who support the government uh, on the on these laws ashok gulati etc they have also written on doubling of farm income as a as a possible uh, road map um, yeah But my view is i but i i agree that that the government uh, should find ways of compensating the farmers on on the return that they promised them whether it is given via a, a higher msp or via income support i am agnostic on that you know there are wto compatible support systems Uh, uh which which the government can look at and have a road map of say 7 8 10 years uh, to to move to a more rational agriculture cropping uh, system as uh, virmani says we shouldn't be uh, we, i mean we shouldn't spend bulk of our subsidies on rice wheat okay. first i think the government should not stand on ego it, it has already considered barkha that it had made mistakes in the law that's why uh, peace mainly it has considered that we can look at you know uh, providing a level playing for uh, you know unregulated markets with regulated apmcs it has also considered that that the farmers not being allowed to uh, not permitted to go to civil court uh, i mean i think that's the most in my view most pernicious provision where barkha in this country everybody has a right to go to court uh, but the farmers have been told you can go if there's a in the contract farming uh, and uh, if there's a dispute you go to the uh, subdivisional magistrate and you take an order from him now why should a farmer who, uh, as an economic agent not have a uh, have recourse to courts do, do you think the private sector you should tell them that you can't go to the court uh, you can resolve your issues with a sitting with a bureaucrat do you think they will ever agree it is completely absurd you know so there are many problems in the law which the government has considered now the farmers are saying you withdraw these laws and let us sit together and through consultation come up with a with a modified law now the only difference uh, barka today uh, between the government position and the farmers position is government is saying we are willing to consider many amendments farmers are saying you withdraw the law and incorporate those amendments the new law i think the government should agree to the farmers this government is if if there is anything that characterizes this government which is brute majority and 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 brutal ego you know which has been on display uh, in the last 6 years so i agree with you they will try to break this uh, uh, farmer strike today they got some south indian farmers you know to come and talk about how they are happy with the laws now they may do all these things barka but the, the fact is at some point they will have to work into the law they have they'll have to say that farmers will be given a certain minimum guaranteed income uh, 
with the Swaminathan Commission frame, framework in mind. It's another matter how they deliver that guaranteed. In. It can be through WTO compliant income support, or it can be through partly through MSP, partly through income support. I just want to make one point. You know, there is a huge diversity. This is yeah. India, right? 1.4 billion people and whatever percentage of farmers. There's a huge diversity of agriculture and farming across the country. So I think the only way to uh, politically address it, I'm just making, is to separate out the central government issues from state government. Let the state government take a, I mean, you know, uh, I don't want to get into specific states, but if Punjab and Haryana farmers have special issues which do not apply, say, to an Andhra farmer or, or whatever, Karnataka yeah. farmer, let that be dealt with at the Punjab and Haryana level with some support from the center. You know, it always at the end of it boils down to money and funds. So I would suggest that that may be the way forward, that the state government and the center can negotiate on the money part of it and let the states do if they, if the Punjab people elect a government which wants to ban all private uh, trade, let them do it. Mm.